Happy Black Friday, everyone. In today's video, which should be pretty obvious, I'm gonna be going over all of my favorite Black Friday PC hardware and PC gaming deals. And a lot of these are actually lasting through the weekend in case if you're watching this video a little late. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're gonna to be going over all of my favorite Black Friday PC hardware and PC gaming deals. And this is gonna be definitely more of a casual video and I'm, and I'm not gonna edit it so much. Um, so we're just gonna run down this list of all of the deals. I'm actually gonna walk through it, kind of like how I was live streaming, uh, but just make it into like hopefully a 10 minute video or so, not gonna be super edited like I said. But before we get into the deals, every single uh, product that I'll talk about will be linked down in the description and a lot of those are affiliate deals which they don't cost any extra money to you but I do get a small kickback if it's on like Amazon or Newegg or whatever so if you want to help your boy out make sure you use the links down in the description and I'm also going to include some main links to Newegg and Amazon which will just just take you to the Amazon homepage and if you make that your bookmark, no matter what you buy, it doesn't have to be a PC hardware deal. No matter what you buy, I will get a small kickback for that. So if you wanna support ZDT, then make sure you bookmark those links down in the description. Uh, another disclaimer is I can't guarantee that all of these deals will be live by the time you're watching this video. So sorry if by the time you click on the link, they're out of stock or whatever, but um, on the flip side, they're actually, like Amazon is actually adding more deals throughout the day. So I'm not gonna be able to list all of the deals. So yeah, it's kind of like a win-win or actually it's kind of like a lose-lose if you think about it. But anyway, um, and finally my last disclaimer is I'm gonna have timestamps to every type of product down in the description. So like CPUs, memory, motherboards and whatnot. So if you're only interested in upgrading your CPU and motherboard, I will have the timestamps down in the description so you don't have to watch every single deal. So with all that out of the way, let's get into the very first deal. And that is here, the AMD Ryzen 7 3800X. Now, I don't think I need to introduce the 3800X. It's been out for a few months now. And this is of course the eight core and 16 threaded version, a little bit beefier than the 3700X. And it's at its lowest price ever here on Amazon at $330. So really good deal, especially for you content creators out there or anybody that can take advantage of those more cores and more threads. But speaking of which, the very next deal we have is the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. Now this is the beefier version than that, the 12 core and 24 threaded processor. This is back to its original price of $500 right on the mark. This is where the price should have been for a while, I think, but due to a very high demand, which is actually kind of surprising, we, we got a lot of people come out of the woodworks, the type of people that need 12 cores all of a sudden. But uh, yeah, so this is down to $500, which is a really good price. It's insane. It's an insane price if you consider what you're actually getting for $500. But yeah, 3,900X down to $500 on Amazon. Going to the next deal, we have the Ryzen 5 2600X, which is also at its lowest price at $120. Now, this is last generation's Ryzen 5. Uh, this is the little bit beefier and uh, already overclocked out of the box version of the 2600. The 2600 is actually $5 cheaper, but in my opinion, if you're gonna spend 115, you might as well spend 120 and get the beefier version with the 2600X. And this is of course its lowest price ever. Now, even though this is last generation, this is still a really good six core processor and 12 threads. Um, to put in your next gaming PC build. You can definitely edit videos off a six core processor. All of a sudden we're kind of treating Ryzen 5s like they're only for gaming and Ryzen 7s are only for like content creation and multi-threaded performance, but you can definitely edit videos or, or, or live stream or, or pretty much anything you want to do with a Ryzen 5 2600X. So that is a really good price for that. And then finally, the last deal, I don't think I mentioned that this is the CPU section, so bear with me, but the last deal is the Ryzen 7 2700X. Now this is another eight core and 16 threaded CPU, but this is last generation, just like the 2600 was, but this is down to $860 here on Amazon. So this is micro center level pricing 
but available to everybody on Amazon, which is really good. A lot of people have been complaining that they can't get this $160 price at Micro Center because they don't live close to one. But uh, yeah, for <laughs> now it's available to everybody. So have at it. I'm actually gonna be doing a build guide with this. Uh, this build is gonna be for like a streaming, um, like a streaming or content creation style build guide. And I don't care that it's last generation. It's still really good, especially for $160. So with all those out of the way, it's now time to get to the graphics card deals. And the first one I have is the Zotac RTX 2070, which is down to $400, which it's a, that's the normal RTX 2070 price, especially now that the 2070 supers are out. But the, the main advantage of this deal is on, on Newegg, you get Call of Duty Modern Warfare for free. So this is a $60 game. I only included this. There's a ton of these deals where you can pay the normal price for a graphics card and get a game for free over on Newegg. Everybody, everybody knows that. But I decided to include this one because a lot of people still haven't pulled the trigger on Modern Warfare. And you're probably seeing all over the internet from people like me that the Modern Warfare is actually a really good game. So you can look at this as only paying $340 for the graphics card if you were already gonna spend $60 on Modern Warfare. So that's why I included it in this one. So the next deal, next graphics card deal, is the MSI GeForce RTX 2060 Super. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is the lowest price any RTX 20 Super has ever gone, especially when you look at the $30 rebate card on Newegg down to $385. Now, this is the 8 gigabyte GDDR6 version. Right off the bat, this is just a great price in general for any RTX 2060 Super, like I said. But yeah, $385, that is really good. Next up for our graphics card deals, we get to the XFX RX 580 GTS XXX edition down to $160. Now this is without a mailing rebate or anything or a discount code, which is really good. And I, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've included this RX 580 in a ton of build guides. I'm pretty sure, like you can see I've purchased this one time and this is just on Amazon. I'm pretty sure I've used this in like four or five build guides at this point. So definitely a really good price for $160. RX 580 is still providing a ton of value. Um, so make sure you pick this one up if you're interested in a gaming PC build guide, like around, I would say like around $500, that type of build guide, this would be a perfect match. So the last graphics card deal we have is the ASRock Radeon RX 5700 XT. Now this is already a really good price at $430 for any 5700 XT in general, uh, but this includes the ASRock one, which is an eight gigabyte GDDR6 version. And the cool thing about this is you actually get an ASRock gaming router with it. So I added this to my cart and then a $200 ASRock router came up in, in my car. Oh, it's right here, actually. You can see it, ASRock Gift Gaming Router. And you actually you also get some free games with it. So I only included this one because you get a ton of value on the extra parts, but $430 alone for a 5700 XT by a third party is actually pretty good. So those are the graphics card deals. Now we'll, we'll start going a little bit quicker here because a lot of these are just small, small type of products that don't need a lot of uh, description or, or it doesn't need me to talk about it for a while. So getting into the RAM, the first kit is the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro 16 gigabyte kit at 3000 megahertz with a cast latency of 16, as you can see here. This is down to $70. This is the lowest price ever for this kit. It's my personal favorite RAM kit, which is why I decided to include it. It's not the cheapest that you can get 16 gigabyte kits for, especially at 3000 megahertz. We'll get into those in just a bit, but I only decided to include this because it's the cheapest this one has ever been, and it's my personal favorite. I think these RGB Pro kits look really good. So next up, we get a little bit cheaper of a RAM kit, and this is the Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigabyte kit for 3,200 megahertz at $60. Now this is one of those best bang for your buck performance type of RAM kits. Um, it, the only one that's on sale actually is the red price. If you go to the black price, 
it's actually up to $74, which is not a good deal. But for 3,200 megahertz at $60 at 16 gigabyte kit, this is really good. And this, everybody knows that this is the very popular Vengeance LPX kit. So I would highly recommend this one if you're interested in that. And then my last RAM kit was an even more valued option. This is the G-Skill Aegis 16 gigabyte kit at 3000 megahertz. This is down to $49.99, which if, if you would have told me last year that we could get this RAM kit for 50 bucks, I wouldn't believe you. This was like $120, $150 a year ago. So this is at 3000 megahertz, cast latency of 16, 16 gigabytes down to $50. Really, really good deal. So with that being said, next up we have our motherboard section. And the first motherboard that we have is from Gigabyte, and this is the X570 Aorus Elite. This is by far the lowest price it's ever been. At $170 is a good price on its own because it usually sits at 200, but here on Newegg, it actually goes down to $150 after mail and rebate. Now, everybody knows X570, the benefits such as the PCIe Gen 4, which is something I wanna take advantage of here very soon. $150 for a motherboard of this quality is a really good deal. The next motherboard we get up to is the MSI Performance Gaming X470. Now this is down to $100 after a $10 rebate card on Newegg. And this is a really good option if you don't wanna spend a lot of money, but you do want a couple more features outside of the normal B350 or B450. This will upgrade you to an X470 motherboard, which is a pretty good option. And it's also a really good option if you're looking for a red and black um, themed aesthetic build. So here it is, MSI Performance Gaming X470. And then finally, the last motherboard deal that I have is, you've probably seen this one before, this is the Gigabyte B450 DS3H down to $60. Now this is a cheap B450 motherboard. It does not have great VRMs for overclocking. You can just see it right there. And um, this is a very popular budget B450 motherboard. I've used this in one or two build guides at this point. The, it's, a, it's pretty impressive that it has four RAM sticks at this price, which is definitely why I'm recommending it. Uh, but this is just one of those very popular B450 motherboards on a very tight budget. So moving on from the motherboards, we get to the power supplies. And here, the only power supply that I thought that was worthy of a video, I'm trying not to include the deals where you only save 10 bucks or so. This is the Rosewill Hive series at 750 watts. This is a fully modular bronze certified power supply for $60 without a mail-in rebate. So we see a ton of power supply deals that you have to do like a $30 mail-in rebate or whatever. I thought this was very impressive, especially for 750 watts from a brand that you can trust and without a mail-in rebate. So with the power supplies out of the way, we get to hard drives and here we have some something that everybody should be interested in. There's a little bit of a range here, as you'll see with this first one. This first one is the four terabyte Western Digital Red NAS hard drive. Now this is down to $90, which $90 for four terabytes worth of storage is crazy. Uh, I made a video about my Synology NAS, which is over here. This would be perfect for something like that. Uh, it's, it's only at 5,400 RPM, so it's not the best option for gaming or whatever, but if you wanna hold some of your, your media or if you edit videos, you wanna store all of your archives over to here, you can put this in a NAS or in your gaming PC if you want to, but this is a really good price for four terabytes of storage. After that, we get to something I know a lot of you will be interested in, and this is the Intel 660p M.2 one terabyte NVMe SSD down to $83 on Newegg. Now, one terabyte SSD for $83 is a really good deal no matter what type of SSD it is, let alone an M.2 NVMe drive. So this one has read and write speeds up to 1,800 megabytes per second, which is really good. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be buying one of these uh, as soon as I'm done making this video. Cause this, you'll be able to put this in any budget from like a $500 to a $1,500 gaming PC. So this is a really good option for that. And then my last SSD deal, which is one that I'm also 100% gonna be picking up as soon as I'm done making this video. This is the Sabrent one terabyte rocket NVMe 4.0 gen four one terabyte SSD. I think I said one terabyte twice there. This is down to $170 as you can see. This takes advantage of 
like the X570 PCIe Gen 4 uh, read and write speeds, which is what I talked about earlier with that X570 deal. And this gets uh, read speeds of 5,000 megabytes per second, which is crazy, and 4,400 megabytes per second write speeds. So this is for your high-end builds, especially for if you wanna edit videos or whatnot, something that'll take advantage of the really fast read and write speeds, and that's exactly why I'm gonna be buying this. So moving on from the PC hardware, we're gonna get a little bit into the peripherals and whatnot, specifically monitors. And the first monitor that I deemed worthy was the LG 27GL83A 27 inch uh, QHD IPS one millisecond G-Sync monitor. Now, as you can see here, I did not expect this. This is currently unavailable. I'm pretty sure that this is available over on Newegg. Um, so I would, I would make sure you go check that out. This is on every single best deals uh, pages from like Tom's Hardware, PC Gamer and everything. This is a really good monitor. I'm not gonna talk about it too much anymore because it looks like it's unavailable, but if it's available wherever you're looking at it, I would highly recommend checking it out. The next one we get to, where are we at here? is the AOC C24 G1. Thankfully, this one is available because this is one of the best like overall Black Friday deals, in my opinion. This is down to $115, which is its lowest price by far ever. This is a curved 1080p VA panel at 144 hertz and FreeSync. AOC is a very popular budget monitor brand, so you can trust them. VA is in between 10 or TN and IPS, so you're gonna get some pretty decent quality here. And $116 for 144 hertz curved monitor, that's gonna be really tough to beat. Next up, the monitor I have listed here, where are we at? is from Dell Alienware. This is the AW3418DW. This is this is for you ballers out there. This is a 34 inch 1440p, four millisecond, 120 Hertz G-Sync monitor. So this is something that I was actually contemplating getting. If I needed a monitor of this stature, I definitely would have pulled the trigger on it. This is definitely very high end, has very good reviews, and this is hundreds of dollars off. So really slick like a monitor. And the very last monitor that I have is from Samsung. This is the UE570. This is the lowest price this one has ever been as well, down to $250 on Amazon. This is perfect if you want to jump right into 4K on a budget. So a lot of you are putting together 4K capable systems and you ran out of money and you don't want to spend $500 to $1,000 on a decent 4K monitor. So this is definitely a budget option. The stand is not good. It doesn't look like it's adjustable at all. I could be wrong on that, but it's got really thick bezels as well. But it is from Samsung, which they use high quality panels and it's 4K and it's free sync. So that's definitely a good budget option for a 4K monitor. So next up, I have two laptop deals, which I'm very excited to share with you. These are both budget oriented. The first one is the Asus Tough FX505DT. This has a 120 Hertz panel with a Ryzen 5 in it and a GTX 1650 with eight gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gigabyte SSD. So you probably will not be able to find a better gaming laptop for $600. That is a lot of performance for just a $600 laptop. The GTX 1650 is no joke, and especially paired with the Ryzen 5. And this is somewhat thin. It's not super beefy of a laptop, and it's from Asus, so you know you can trust it. And I think it looks pretty slick, so definitely a really good option for the mid-range, or actually very budget um, gaming laptop space. So the last laptop that I have is everyone's favorite, Asus Predator Helios 300. Now, this one is by far the best bang for your buck performance gaming laptop at $1,100 is where the price currently sits. Sometimes it creeps down to a thousand, but now on Black Friday, it's down to $929. So by far, it, it already couldn't be beat at that price and now it dropped even farther. So this one is rocking 144 Hertz panel i7 processor, a GTX 1660 Ti, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 250 gigabyte NVMe SSD. So everybody knows about the Helios. I don't think I need to go much more into it. Very, very good price um, laptop. So next up we have peripherals to round this out. 
and I'm gonna try and get through these a little bit quicker to make this video not so long. This is everyone's favorite Razer Death Adder Elite down to $30. This is actually the lowest price ever. A lot of budget streamers or a lot of mid-range streamers will use this and recommend this one. Pretty much everyone knows about this. This one's been out for a very long time, down to $30 new, which is very good. Next up, we get to the Logitech G903 wireless gaming mouse. This is also its lowest price ever. This is just a really highly reviewed wireless gaming mouse. This is the this is the next version of the G901, I believe. Everybody loved that. It's, it includes the wireless charging capability, so you can buy the the wireless charging mouse pad if you're interested in that. I think this launched at like $150, so down to $64, which is a really good deal. I also have a, another Logitech product, which is the Logitech G910 Orion Spark RGB uh, gaming keyboard. This one I don't know too much about other than that it uses the Romer G switches, which I'm actually a huge fan of. I use that at work every single day. This is only $2 higher than its lowest price ever. And I think it launched at like $180. So you're getting a pretty good deal. And it's got a phone mount here, which is pretty slick if you ask me. Next up for our peripherals, we get to our first Best Buy deal, which is a Blue Yeti Pro Streamer Pack. So it includes the Blue Yeti and a Logitech C922 uh, webcam. This is perfect for $130 for you streamers that wanna launch your career on Twitch or on Mixer or on YouTube gaming or whatever. Uh, $130 to get both your camera and good quality microphone. Yeah, this one's gonna be really tough to beat. This is only available at Best Buy. I checked on Amazon and whatnot and could not find it anywhere else. Next up, we're going back to Amazon. This is the HyperX Alloy Elite RGB, $80 with Cherry MX Reds. The, the ones, the versions with the MX Blues and the MX Browns are up to $100. This is a really good price. This is by far its lowest price. Um, and just keep being, be aware that if you're only interested in the Cherry MX Reds, that's the only one that's on sale. So really good price for that. I really like the, the media, the volume scroll wheel here in the top right hand corner and it's from HyperX so you know this one's gonna be good. Moving on, we get to a gaming headset. This is the Steel Series Arctix 7. This one, I, I hear this recommended by a ton of streamers, even the high end streamers. This is a wireless gaming headset from Steel Series. Got tons of really good reviews, 2,333 reviews at four stars. Um, this is tied with its lowest price ever, down to $100 on Amazon. And these are just super popular. I'm pretty sure most of you know about these by now. And finally, my last peripheral is the Razer Naga Trinity mouse. Now this is the mouse that I'm currently using here. And I honestly think that this is the most underrated mouse on the market. So this is a wired mouse from Razer. So if you don't like Razer mice, you're not gonna like this, but I happen to like their sensors. And it includes the option for the MMO button structure, which is what I always use on the right-hand side. It has a MOBA one where it only has seven hotkeys on in the middle there. And then it also has the FPS version for just the two buttons. So you essentially get three different style mice in one, which is why I really like it. I think it's a really good deal. Uh, and it's down to $55. So I definitely wanted to throw that one out there just cause I'm a little biased on that one. And then finally our last deal ever, for our Black Friday 2019 video is the Corsair T1 gaming chair. This is down to $220. Now I haven't used this one myself, but this one has really good reviews. This is the lowest price it's ever been. And this is a high quality gaming chair at that $300 price range down to a budget gaming chair price down to $220. So I would personally recommend this one without me seeing it. I think it, I, I did a little bit of research on it and I think this one looks solid. It's from Corsair. So you're getting that high brand quality, but with the budget price. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for checking out my Black Friday's tech deals list. As always, drop a comment down below if there's any deal that I missed. I'll, I'll try to update the description as the day goes on if there's any deals worth adding to the description, but make sure you guys start commenting what your favorite deals are. And I'll give you a heart or I'll pin uh, some of those comments that have the best deals on there. That way uh, nobody misses it. So. After that, feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet, and definitely hit that subscribe button because coming up next, I'm actually making that security video that I talked about last week. I, I think it's gonna be a good one. You don't wanna miss that video.